Yes, welcome back to Norwegian bushcraft and fishing. So we're back at the big water and it's just beautiful August weather. I think it's a month since last time we was here. I haven't calculated the time, it's going very fast. And uh, it is, I thought it was another wind, but it is northeast, but it's very nice. I want to fish on the bottom, so it doesn't really matter if I have wind against me. I will get it out anyway. It's worse if you have a bob. So it's just beautiful late summer weather here in Westeron. We want to make a campfire. We want to do some bushcrafting, make some grill sticks. People have been uh, has been uh, talking about bushcrafting, and uh, we will have to start somewhere. So, yes. Yes, uh, getting the campfire going, and uh, it's very dry, so I hope it will get there on the first try. So. Maybe, maybe not. See if I find some more wood. More than average. Yeah, it's very dry. Trying to get it on fast. Seems to be getting out on us. Yes, it's coming out. So it's been very dry, so it's, yeah, shouldn't be too hard. The road is out on the bottom. And yeah, northern wind doesn't really matter because of my fishing type. I have to get some food in it because I haven't eaten today. Yeah, it's been very many fishing trips this year either. Just have, haven't had the energy to do it. So, so also have to use some uh, time on the, the UFO channel and everything which is happening there. So I have the UFO news on the Thomas and Thomas Petersen channelings. Uh, extraterrestrials and spirits and uh, we kind of find energy to com combine all so it's just easy to go here because it's so close and uh, it is nice here so you get your fresh air and maybe you get some fish of course you can drive longer to Normella and get the bigger fish so that it's going to be take longer time and uh, use more fuel. And you, yeah. As we will get there too, we will have another trip to Nordmela before we before they close. Campfire going still. Rolled out. Super weather. Well, it's been really good weather the last month. I made that grill stick, bush crafting for you. So you go to grill with this. And we have, sorry, we have some, uh, I made some treads also so we can uh, keep the sausage on better. Grill stick for you. Very nice bush crafting. We are creating stuff in the nature. 
and there will be more. Yeah, we have gotten the sausage on the stick, and it's doing its job. Just have to hang it over. I caught fire very well. So, yeah, we didn't get anything here last time, three hours, you know. I think it was southwestern wind also. No, it's northeastern. So we will see. So I sort of think about getting over here, you know. But then it's just so easy just to go down here and everything is ready just to start. Yeah, it's, it's ready over here too, but next time there is more time. Try to get some bathing also before I, you know, before the summer is over. Yeah, well, the day um, tomorrow is going to be nice too. Yeah, we have a, we had a bumblebee. So the grill stick is working perfectly fine. Yeah, the second uh, sausage we're grilling. The campfire is going nice. Uh, it's also much easier getting fire on today than last time. So no naps. So, but you know the weather is just amazing. So, I guess the tourists have gotten some good time this year because of the nice weather. And there is getting more of them. There's getting more tourists because the seems like our val valuta is getting less worth and that's you know why I don't understand why I guess I'm no economist so I'm not an expert so I am expert on fishing at least I think I am <laughs> We are grilling a sausage down in the fire. We are grilling a sausage down in the pits of hell. And it's beautiful. <laughs> it's very nice today. Beautiful weather, but it's, the wind has calmed down a little bit. The fish may come up to get flies. No, I also have a spiritual channel where I channel extraterrestrials and uh, spirits and we also donate money to welfare. We have donated a lot of money to Ukraine, United States of America, to Africa, to Norwegian welfare, Norsk Luftambulanse, Norsk Folkehjelp. Redvarna, Plan, Läger utan gränser. So, we are trying to help UNICEF. So, if everybody helped a little bit, you know, that we, we would have a better world. Instead of, you know, trying to find our negative sides, because we all have those two. But if we are given a little bit more focus on the positive sides, you know, we will have a much better world, you know, we would uh, have <coughs> peace and we would uh, avoid the wars, and uh, some people just seem to be out of their, you know, trouble, and create trouble for others, so that is fucked up, you know, if they could have given a little bit of love and accepted people a little bit for who they are, then they would have gotten so much more back, but these are some people just want to just want to see other people burn or something. So I don't think they're living a great life, you know, if they are letting their frustration you know, go 
outdoor other people. So that's just my meaning, you know. And you also have feelings yourself, you also have a life, you know, you also want to be happy, you also want to do the things you like, you know, and people putting stocks in between your your wheels and creating trouble, you know, you you, you have a problem. So but you know it helps to get out in nature, it helps to just free yourself from burdens, you can say. Yes, there was the talk of wisdom for today. Hope you liked it. Yes, yeah, so I got the coffee on. And it's good fire in the campfire. Soon coffee. Hello, back. So I've got the coffee. And uh, I just sat there, just relaxing, you know, in the beautiful weather, and just sucking up the nice nature. So, you know, but uh, I'm kind of tired, you know, I have something with my teeth, some pain or something, which just, you know, it's a new form of pain, I never, I never had to, yeah. To feel, to feel, and uh, but uh, just uh, very excruciating. I lost half of my tooth last year. I got it fixed in s October. Then after a while, it just I got some problems with it. I think it's some sort of opening which uh, let some stuff in and just hit the nerve. So, I think it's some, some part of the new tooth has fallen off, so the, the nerves are exposed. Or, or they did a bad job on the dentist. I also have a wisdom tooth, which is not good, you know. So, and those two start to hurt at the same time, you know. It just, it just, it's like someone just sticks a fucking needle up your... Uh, it hurts, you know, it's impossible to sleep. So I do think I have to go to the dentist again soon. Now it's okay, just a little bit, but you never know, you know. I've been drinking Coca-Cola and eating, so. And I also have my, my, uh, my sickness, my condition, you know, the multiple sclerosis. You feel it in the hands, you know, you have fatigue, you have Oh, oh, that's a big fish up there. And uh, you have to have, you know, energy to do this, you know. And, and you have to be motivated too. And uh, there is not many people watching these videos. So so it kind of goes out of the motivation. And I also have another YouTube channel I use a lot of time on. The uh, UFO stuff. So it's coming more and more to the surface, but there are people who don't want us to know the truth. So why? You know, you can ask many questions, but maybe they have the answers of that. So, the phone is calling. So, the clock is five to six. In the evening, it's very still now. It's quite hot, so I took off my my shirt, my uh, uh, yeah. I think it's a car over here. It's something shiny. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a car, it seems. Yeah. 
Maybe the people are all the hut or something. Seen a couple of trouts jumping out of the water. No naps, I just think it's it's maybe too hot. Yeah. Hello. Usually we get one fish, but this latest trips here has been very bad. <laughs> there just was a huge fish up out here. A huge splash. So my, my rod is out there or my bait. I don't see anything on the on the bait. So maybe it was a salmon or a huge trout. We got the campfire going again. So I just put it out on two roots. Yeah. So maybe it he will come up again. Maybe he sees my bait. Maybe not. Yeah, we're soon drunk in uh, one uh, kettle of uh, coffee, or a half a kettle. So it seems like it's shifting with the wind again, maybe a little bit more northern. Not bad because it's quite hot. So night, nice. So it's starting to getting dark now, or uh, the midnight sun is over, I think. So it's getting uh, what you call it in English, dawn. Yeah, dawn. From dusk, no dusk. Is it dusk? Dawn it is the in the morning. From dusk to dawn, dusk, yeah, dusk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just my sometimes my English is just horrible. I just <laughs> I seem to forget the easiest word, you know. So that's just how it is. Maybe we're drinking too much coffee or yeah. Uh, so I move the rod a little bit closer. So just threw straight out where the fish was up. We have a couple of swans over here. Yes. They're relaxing, have a good time. Yeah, still very hot. So. Yes, so it's, it is completely still now on the water and there's no fish up. So very quiet. The campfire is going, I had some roots on and uh, yeah. Very nice. I think there is some sort of mice here or something. Threw a small sausage bit over there. They're shooting over uh, at the shooting. Uh, Oh, shooting field. Yeah, it's a mice here. It is here. I heard. I think he's taking the bread bit and the, the sausage bit. Over here. I 
think it's, it's found it. Yes. So, it's just completely still now. It's just a little bit of wind on the other side. No fish up. Strange. Strange for this water, you know. Kind of a ear, eerie stillness. I can remember 29 years ago we were on the other side. Here on the on the beach, and we were bathing, and uh, and fishing. We are many people from the family, and uh, yeah, we got fish and. Uh, could go out, bathe a little bit, get fish, grill some fish, bathe a little bit, get fish, you know. But it seems like the the the, the beach has kind of changed a little bit. Uh, it's like you know these stones. I can't remember these stones being here. Like the marine layer of stones. I remember it was just beach, and then we went out and. But maybe they, the, the stones have gotten exposed, or the sand has moved a little bit. No, it's very beautiful. It, it, it is perfect to bathe. Yeah, I could hear a mouse again. But then we got uh, fish in this kind of weather, you know. But it was the fish was much more up. But it might be a, might have been earlier in the year, maybe in July or something. Now it's August. Yeah. The the campfire is mostly smoking now. Yeah, it's completely still yet. Still on the water. Saw a salmon up over there. So it's very, it's dead. <laughs> I guess this is the sun and the warm, so that's just how it can be sometime. Yeah, my tooth is starting to annoy me again. Okay, I think I'm going home. So the clock is 10 to Half past eight. Do you say that or uh, twenty? It's twenty past seven. <laughs> uh, so this must be the you know the. I think the. In in the case of fish, it's been the worst, for, <laughs> yeah, for a long long time. There's been some very huge fishes up, you know, but now it's completely still again. But there's no naps, not one single nap, and you see the water has, you know, it's gone down. Yeah, a lot, because the water is usually up here, you know, a little bit lower. So the water, so it's very low uh, water stand. So we can just hope for a little bit more water rain but it's going to rain from thursday i think tomorrow it's going to be very nice again then it's going to start raining and that we need the rain you know but the weather has been exquisite exquisite you could say and also the trip in itself has been exquisite just beautiful campfire good food and you know, beautiful nature. I, I saw a weasel also, a weasel came here. I just, I heard something. I thought it was a mice, but it was a weasel, you know, coming past here and stopping here, looking at me, and then just going. So I was uh, thinking about giving it some sausage, but it just went in a hurry. So I tried to throw a, a sausage bit after it, but it, I, I missed and hit the water instead. So maybe it... Uh, the trout is eating it, or the stengsteel, as we call it, the small fish. 
Yeah, but you see here that the water stand is very, very low, so maybe it's a little bit too hot for the fish too, you know, who knows. But it's, uh, usually you get fish here, but it's just been bad. And that's just uh, how we can be. So I'm leaving and it's been a nice trip. So the weather has been extremely good. But I think the water stand is very low and they're warm in the water. And the fish hasn't been biting at all. I've seen some salmon up. But we have had a nice trip. Or I have had a nice trip. I don't know why I say we. <laughs> so the campfire has been good. I just put it out and uh, we have made some coffee and some uh, food. And we've seen uh, both weasels and herd mice. And I'm throwing out a little bit of bread and sausage for the mice and weasel. Usually I lay fish here if I have some. Oh, that was a big one up there. Out there, a big one. Yeah, just there. I just heard sloops. So, so he's, he's here, but he doesn't want to take the bait or the worms. That's okay, that's just how it is. Sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't get something. So maybe too nice weather. But we have gotten fish in this kind of weather here before. But Times change, times change. So remember to subscribe to my channel and support me. And uh, it is much more fun to make videos when you know someone is watching you and liking your video videos. So yeah, they're shooting like hell up in the, the shooting uh, field. Practice range, yes, practice range. Okay, not shooting field. <laughs> okay, see you next time and uh, remember to go out into nature and have a good time and uh, eat some fish, make some good food, be with good friends and family. Much love to you and see you around.